Quality Ags, and welcome to the Women's Basketball Show. I'm your host, Kelsey Bone. Coming off one of the most successful seasons in program history, the Aggies are ready to attack this season. But before we take a look ahead, let's take a look back at the 2009-2010 Big 12 Tournament Championship season. The Texas A&M women's basketball team made history in the 2009-2010 season. With one of the largest openers in Aggie basketball history, the Aggies knocked off number seven Duke in spectacular fashion. At that game, newcomer Danielle Adams made her Aggieland debut and dazzled in maroon. The Aggies competed in a challenging non-conference schedule, beating Auburn, Cal, and Gonzaga, and defeating three top 15 teams. Opening conference play at the Capitol, the Aggies took out Texas on their home court. The Aggies would go on to win their eighth consecutive game against the Horns in the 09-10 season later in the year at Reed. The Sydney duo wrecked through Big 12 play while Tyra White showed her skills on the hardwood all through conference play. Going into the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City, the Aggies defeated number 15 Texas in the semis, then took on undefeated Nebraska. The nationally televised game pitted number 11 A&M against the number three Huskers. Adora Ilanu netted 18 points for the Aggies, and Carter hit key three-pointers, helping hand Nebraska their first loss of the season. The championship game put the ladies against the Oklahoma Sooners. The shootout came to a halt when Colson hit a jumper that sealed the Sooners' fate in the second half and put Big 12 championship rings in the Aggies' fingers for the third time in four years. After winning the championship USA Today, ESPN gave A&M their highest ranking of the season at the number five spot. Coach Blair then took the number two seeded Aggies to the big dance in Seattle. The ladies pummeled Portland State in the first round and then were ultimately defeated by the Gonzaga Bulldogs in the second round. The season ended on a high note with senior star Tanisha Smith selected 22nd overall in the WNBA draft. Big time records, big time players, and a Big 12 title all in the 2009-2010 season. With three returning starters and three new players, the roster is changing in Aguilar. Let's meet the new players and see how they're adjusting to life in Maroon. Hi, I'm Kristen Grant. I'm a freshman from Arlington, Texas. Hi, I'm Carla Gilbert. I'm a freshman and I'm from Cloud Station, Texas. Hi, I'm Kelsey Bone. I'm a sophomore from Houston, Texas. I felt good. Uh, it was a great experience just knowing that I worked hard for this. It was kind of a surreal experience for me. Um, I've been around the program and around the several different a and teams since I was in eighth grade and I know many players that have come through here so to have those letters across my chest and to know the people that have come before me it was a really cool and fun experience. Hopefully get uh, some playing time this year as a freshman guard. Um, and to learn from Cindy Carter. To be able to watch my teammates uh, make it to the Final Four and win another Big 12 championship and to be able to learn from them and be able to put things into place for next year. My goal this season is to win the Big 12 championship. Bring a national championship for women's basketball to Aguilar. Uh, we talk about it a lot, so to be able to put that into fruition and let it happen and play out, I'll be really excited about that. This season, I'm really looking forward to um, our team making it to the Final Four. Uh, hopefully, if it's in um, God's will, we will make it all the way to the championship and win the national championship. Now that we've met the new players, let's talk about the new schedule. The Ags are facing a tough non-conference schedule this season. Tipping off this weekend, the Aggies will be taking on Texas A&M University Kingsville in our exhibition game. Then next Saturday, while football is in Waco, you can see us take on each other in our maroon and white scrimmage. On November 16th, we will bring the University of Arkansas Little Rock to Reed Arena for the first official game of the season. On the road in non-conference season, we will travel to exotic Cancun, Mexico for the Thanksgiving Classic and meet Arizona and Michigan there. You can meet us back at Reed to see us play Cal. Then we will travel to Durham to play the number five Duke in a rematch of last season's opener. The number eight Aggies will be traveling to New York for the prestigious Maggie Dixon Classic for a showdown against Rutgers right before Christmas. There's more to come in non-conference, but we need all of you there as our 12th man. 
So come out this Sunday for our exhibition game against the Javelinas at 2 p.m. And come back on November 16th to see us take on the Arkansas Little Rock Trojans. Thanks for watching and see you there.